Hi guys, how are you going? Um, I'm just going to go through quickly how to set up one of the nets at Maroubra. Um, there's a little bit of technique, especially with a ratchet, so we're going to go through it step by step. So first thing, um, unpack yeah. your net. And it should be nicely rolled up. So as you can see, um, on one end, we've got um, two bits of rope and two carabiners as well. Okay, so what we're going to do with this end is we're going to take it over to the first end, first pole. Okay. making sure that the buffalo sport which way the net goes up um, and if you're unsure it's the other end it's the one with the um, uh, the tape rather than the, the, the rope up here as you can see there's just a little bit of rope that's just to indicate the right height for our social league here at Maroubra so once you get the right height just put the top carabiner in if you pull the net out you want the bottom carabiner to be just a little lower and so we can adjust it, the height once it's up by either t tensioning the bottom or putting more tension on the top. Okay, so just below, click that on. Okay, so that's that end done. Okay, the other end. Pull it out here. See the other end, it's got a tape at the top and it's just got a ring at the bottom. Okay, so that's what we're looking for for the other end. Uh, in your bag, Find a ratchet with a spear hook on it and then uh, just a tape as well for the bottom. So the ratchet, if you're not familiar with these, okay, so that's what a ratchet looks like and we've got a hook on one end and then tied onto a bit of string is another hook, okay. So what we want to do with this, this hook that's tied on, we want to set that at the right height, okay. So that's for the, the, the tape to go through. Again, we've got an indicator up there. Just hook that on up there. Okay. And then the bottom hook, yeah, we just hook on and then we were like near the bottom of the, the uh, chain there. Okay. But from here, we just grab onto the tip, try and get her so she's uh, nice and flat. Get on the end, thread that through your hook eyelet. From there, so if we come in close here, you can see the ratchets like this, okay? So we can push that button and it helps close it or open it. And um, when we're doing it up, we want the ratchet completely closed, okay? And as we can see, there's a bit of a hole in there and that's where the tape goes in, okay? So tape goes in and then we bring it through, okay? It's very important that we get a bit of tension on the net before we start cranking because there's only so much tape that can fit on that reel. So if we start cranking here, we're never going to get any tension on the net. So we just keep pulling it through. And you can almost get the net to a point where it's almost ready to go. Okay. Once we do that, we just with one hand hold the two tapes together so they're not going to slip. And then with the, the ratchet, just start to crank it. Okay. Once it gets a couple of cranks, it's secure so you can, you can let go of that top if you want and then you can put a little bit more tension on it. Okay, so now you can see net's nice and tight, it's also a little bit high so you probably want to bring it down with a, with a bottom strap. Okay, so depending on how high or how low it is, we can position this bottom strap. Okay, the bottom straps, if you're coming close, you can see, pushes there. Okay, so we'll try and think of it as, as you put the strap in, it's where if the, where the strap pulls, it's going to tighten. So as it pulls this way, it's going to tighten. So you want to come in the back there. Okay, so that's the way we want to come in. Because as the strap pulls, it tightens this, this claw that should then push down on it and hold the bottom of the neck. Okay, so what we do with this one, just thread it through that loop. Okay, thread it through some point in the chain. Okay, again, try and work out which way it goes in, it goes in the back, thread it through there, and then we can get the bottom nice and tight as well. OK, 
yet. Cool, so that's the bottom nice and tight, and the top's been brought down a bit. That's probably now a little low, so all we can do, we could add our tension the top a bit, but it's pretty tight, or just let a little bit out on the bottom, and I'll just pop that net up a little bit higher. Okay, so that's why we want the bottom slightly lower than the top, so we can then do small adjustments when we need to. Now the lines, lines are pretty easy. The way I like to do my lines is find the end. Okay, it's good if the end is the, the clip, so when we do the lines up, it's better to start on the non-clip. Then we can use the clip, to clip it onto the net. Just slowly uh, unwind our lines. Until we hit the first anchor, then we try and get it at right angles to the net, obviously, nice and straight. Bring it down, dig in your first anchor. Nice and easy. Second anchor, make sure this line's parallel to the net. You can always adjust it afterwards, but it's good if we can get it right the first time. Make sure you dig the anchors in nice and deep. And then push them up against the, the undug sand, I suppose, so it's nice and, nice and secure. The sand is nice and tough. Okay, unwind. At this point, you can check your middle, so we've got a little, little middle indicator, so we probably need to go a little bit that way, but we can adjust that at the end. and try and get that as best you can, nice and straight. This one you want to get a little bit of tension. Yep, so the line's nice and nice and top when we uh, once we finish. The last one, just go straight back to the net. Clip that on, and then put the last anchor in just by pulling it nice and tight at the 45 degrees. And it should be roughly right. So we can adjust it, get it at the 45. This one we really need to get quite a bit of tension on so the line stay nice and straight. Again, digging that in, pushing the anchor down into the undug sand, cover up. Cool. And that's your net all set up, ready to go. A couple of things to remember, taking it down, walk with the lines, make sure we don't, don't pull at the lines or else they get really tangled and they get twisted as well. So we do the lines back up, grab our winder, unclip the lines and basically do it in reverse. Make sure we walk with them, we get a nice, nice and tight on the, on the winder. Yeah. And if we can leave this, the metal clip, to the end so that we can then clip that on the net when we're booting them back up the next time. Uh, the net, undo the net, pretty easy. Undo the bottom, very easy, just pushing that button. Comes undone pretty easily. Yeah. The crank, crank's a tricky one, undo. So when we're doing it up, we say we had it nice and closed. To undo it, we do the exact opposite. So we open it up as much as possible. If I try and open that up, it's not gonna really move. Okay, so what I need to do is push this button and then it opens up. Okay, well we keep going all the way until it's open as much as we can. You can actually see that when, once it opens, it locks in the open position with that little metal thing there. And then this thing spins and undoes the net. Then we just feed it all the way through and that's undone. And that's how to set up a Marubra net.